Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to stop Windows Media Player from downloading codecs automatically. Perhaps you use Shark or K-Lite codec packs and you'd prefer to manage them yourself. That's okay. Let's take a look at how to do it. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can do it with a registry. So as always, not always, but most of the time, check for the little eye up here or check the video description above the comments and look for this link right here. And we're going to download these two registry files I might already have them. yes I do so it'll say like I said click the download now as you can see it's automatic extract the files and we're just going to double click them so for example enable disable so you're looking for disable we'll double click it click yes click yes click OK and to restore it, we do the exact same thing with the one that has enable in the end of the file name. Yes. Yes. Okay. And there you have it. You're done. It's that simple. I created the registry files because it's such a simple way to do it. If you want, you can actually open those and see what we did. Right click. And you can open it with, let's say, notepad. And you can see where I modified the D word. And I think I had to add that. I don't remember now. I might have had to add... D word plus this so if you understand the registry you know what I'm talking about if you don't that's okay it's simple enough to do another way to do it group policy editor you got to have Windows 10 Pro for that Windows 10 home users would have to enable it but it's an option so let's do the Windows key plus R and type in GP edit dot M S C GP edit dot M S C click OK and as you can see, we're going to go to user configuration right here. Expand administrative templates. We're going to go to Windows components. And finally, I can't see it. Windows Media Player. Down we go. There it is. And we're looking for playback. Finally, we're there. And as you can see, the obvious, prevent codec download. Double click that. Now, typically, not configured is the Windows default. I've always found this a tad confusing, but that's okay. There's a couple places it's different. But if you click on enabled, as you can see here, it prevents you from downloading codecs. If you want to go back, you can click disabled, but I prefer to leave it for no good reason to not configure because that's the Windows default. Oftentimes when you see enabled, disabled, they don't really do anything unless options show up. So for example, on some things that you modify in group policy, if you click disabled, there are options that go along with that or enabled, one of the two. So that's why for the good majority of group policy editor, you're going to do not configured or enabled. So once again, clicking on enabled, click on OK, and you're all set. Change your mind, follow this back through, bookmark the page if you're not sure, and click on Not Configured. And you're back to where you need to be. But once again, the registry files do simplify it. I think you'll like them. They're handy to have, and they're part of the Major Geeks Windows tweaks, if you haven't seen them, right here. At the time of this video, there'll be more. There's 191 scripts in there to make changes like this in the registry or sometimes PowerShell, stuff like that, to tweak Windows the way you want it. It's been very popular I'm very impressed with uh, people seem to love it so that's kind of cool and there you have it how to stop Windows Media Player from automatically downloading codecs yay bottom right corner subscribe you know the drill thanks for watching as always we really do appreciate it see ya